Darwin 200 is a planetary conservation initiative. We're not focusing on a single region or a single country, but rather trying to change the world for the better. We're sailing in Charles Darwin's wake from here, Plymouth, England. This is the town that Darwin stepped aboard HMS Beagle and set sail to undertake his five-year voyage around the world, during which he developed his great ideas and theories. Darwin 200 has three project goals. The first one is creating 200 exceptional Darwin leaders. These are the world's best young conservationists. We're going to train and upskill them to help make them the drivers of change to change the world of tomorrow. The second project goal concerns creating an immense rainbow of activities to engage students at schools right the way around the world to understand conservation problems. This is called the world's most exciting classroom. The third project goal of Darwin 200 is undertaking five research projects in the ports and during the sailing legs as the ship sails around the world. The historic toolship Ustersgilde is the beating heart of this project. The ship is a floating laboratory and media platform throughout this global voyage. To explain the project objectives in a little bit more detail, the first project objective concerns the Darwin leaders. Each Darwin leader is an exceptional young conservationist. We're looking for one Darwin leader from each of 200 countries and states from around the world. We're selecting them on one criteria alone, what they've done to change the world for the better. It doesn't matter about their academic qualifications, it doesn't matter whether they've been to university. What we're looking for is that raw, burning flame inside of them to change the world for the better. Some of the Darwin leaders that we've already selected have planted hundreds of trees around the home area. Others have set up rehabilitation projects to look after endangered native species or they fundraised for local conservation initiative. The most important quality is the ability to pull up your boots, get out there and change the world by making things happen. That's the quality of Darwin leaders that we're looking for. The Darwin leaders come to the ports where Charles Darwin made landfall. We partner them with a local conservation group and over the course of their project placements, they are embedded in the conservation team looking at the conservation work that's being undertaken. They have to choose an animal or a plant that Charles Darwin studied during his voyage around the world. And with the local conservation partner, they have to do three objectives. For their first objective, working with the local conservationists, they have to work out how the population of their chosen animal plant has changed over the last 200 years. Has the population gone up? Has it stayed the same? or has it gone down? With the local conservation teams, they've got to investigate and really understand the reasons behind that population change. For their second objective, they have to follow the conservationist's work and see what's currently being undertaken to safeguard the animal plant right now. And is it working? What strategies are being used? Are they enough? Are they effective? And what's the ongoing trend right now? For the third objective, they have to really get out and use their brains. They've got to think about what more could be done to safeguard the future of their chosen animal plant. They've got to work with local conservationists, think of new ideas, new strategies, and new projects that could make the future better for their chosen animal or plant. Darwin 200 is about the exchange of ideas and experience. All of the Darwin leaders will bring ideas and techniques from their home countries to the ports where we undertake their project placements. But equally, they will leave with new ideas, new techniques and real world experience and take that new knowledge back to their home countries. The Darwin leaders truly are the living legacy of this project and for the next 50 years over the course of their careers. Our goal is that they'll have a ripple effect right the way around the world doing amazing conservation work and driving change. To explain the second project goal of Darwin 200, over the course of the two-year voyage, we're creating the world's most exciting classroom. We've got a rainbow of project activities 
taking place and beamed live into classrooms and homes around the world. We've planned experiments, interactive competitions, activities that are completely free to take part in. And we've got really generous prizes to get young people excited to take part in understanding environmental issues. The third project goal of Darwin 200 is undertaking five research projects in the ports and during the sailing legs as the ship sails around the world. We're studying environmental issues such as habitat loss and the impacts that has on species diversity. A coral reef survey looking at the impacts to coral in different parts of the world. We're surveying for microplastics as the ship sails around the world to look at differences in the concentrations of plastics in the world's oceans. We're also undertaking a seabird and whale and dolphin survey to look at the different populations of seabirds and cetaceans as we sail across the globe. We're going to survey the health of those populations and the species diversity that we come across to compare with historical data. The fifth research project looks at solutions to pollution issues and how we can solve some of those problems in real world conditions. Darwin 200 will change the world and we would like you to be part of this project. You can sail aboard our tall ship. You can become a Darwin leader. You can take part in the world's most exciting classroom. You can be part of the analysis of our research projects. And you can visit the ship in the ports that we call into. Visit www.darwin200.com for details. And now a word from our project patron, Dr. Jane Goodall. I believe that this project is tremendously important. It comes at the right time. We all know we're in the midst of the sixth great extinction. There's a lot of doom and gloom about the problems facing the environment, climate change, loss of biodiversity. And this voyage will give many young people an opportunity to see there is still time to make change and that every single person can make a difference every single day. And for those who are not selected, there's still an opportunity to make change in your own life. We all matter, we all have a role to play, we can all help make a difference. But for those who are selected, this is an incredible opportunity to become a real leader to save the planet and the environment for future generations. Every single young person can make a difference and by giving an opportunity to those who have shown real passion and energy to go on this extraordinary voyage around the world, following the footsteps of my hero, Charles Darwin, they are going to be in the perfect position to be leaders in the fight to save what remains on this planet of nature. So we're looking for passionate, talented conservationists of the future from the ages of 18 to 25, one from each of 200 countries and states to join us on this voyage. This project will empower the STEM leaders of the future. Visit darwin200.com. We need you and you're there. Take advantage of this opportunity. Join this amazing voyage. Apply now.